Senate lawmakers propose new legislation that could federally legalize cannabis, and a compelling news story discovers the origins of the cannabis plant. This is Low with Barry Hill, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Last week, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer introduced a bill called the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act. This bill would remove marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act and also introduce tax regulations. It would also expunge the federal records of nonviolent cannabis offenders, and if they're serving time, inmates would be permitted to petition for resentencing. Schumer was quoted saying, This is monumental. At long last, we're taking steps in the Senate to right the wrongs of the failed war on drugs. This is indeed some great news. Even though the majority of the country has legalized cannabis and polls show that an upwards of 70% of Americans agree that cannabis should be legal, there's still so much more to do for this bill. Unsurprisingly, Senate Republicans and some Democrats oppose it and it has not gotten the okay from President Biden. Schumer will at least need 10 GOP votes for it to pass. Despite all of that, we're going to send positive vibes up the ladder and hope that soon cannabis will be removed from its Schedule 1 status. Next in news, a new study has discovered where the cannabis plant has originated. A team of researchers did some genetic sequencing and discovered that all existing cannabis strains we have now are linked to an ancestral gene pool that grow in China today. According to this research, did you know that the cannabis sativa plant was first domesticated during the Neolithic era some 12,000 years ago in East Asia? It was likely used for both medical and textile purposes, and it was about 4,000 years ago that farmers likely began breeding cannabis specifically to get high as it eventually spread into the Middle East and Europe. The scientists behind the study suggested that more research is needed, but enough was done to determine that any predecessors that predate cannabis sativa are now extinct. What interesting research. And lastly, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Murthy has made it clear that there's no value to incarcerating people over cannabis. On CNN's State of the Union, host Dana Bash asked him what his thoughts were on the Senate's recent proposal to deschedule cannabis. He answered back, As Surgeon General, my role is to work with policymakers, to work with members in the community and the general public to help people understand what science tells us and where you have gaps to help fill those gaps with research and with honest inquiry. With all of these officials at the top being open-minded towards cannabis, we are eager to see what's soon to come. So go ahead and like this video and give us a follow at Very Hill for the latest in cannabis news. Thanks for watching.